Good evening, families, guests, administration, teachers, friends. Please stand and join the class of 2015 in the presentation of the colors by the Clear Springs High School JRTC, the Pledge of Allegiance to the American Flag, the Texas Pledge, and the National Anthem performed by the Clear Springs High School Chorale. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Clear Spring High School men, please remove your mortarboards. Good evening, I am Patricia Medina, parliamentarian for the class of 2015. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Now the Texas Pledge. The words for the Texas Pledge can be found inside the program at the bottom. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose dark stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the boats bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Welcome class of 2015, distinguished guests, administration, teachers, family, and friends. Please be seated. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome you to the 2015 commencement ceremony of Clear Springs High School. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Kelsey Holt, and I'm the president of the class of 2015. Please note the ceremony will be followed in order stated in your program. Before we move forward, I would like to take this moment to introduce the class officers of the class of 2015. Historian Maggie Carter. Parliamentarian Patricia Medina. Secretary Amy Catrola. And Vice President CJ Hallmark. 
to each of you, I say thank you for your hard work, determination you have each given to the successful event, which we started in August and led us here tonight, our final Clear Springs High School senior activity. Finally, I would like to take a special moment to thank all the teachers, staff, and administration of Clear Springs High School for their dedication and unending support for the students of the class of 2015. You have been there for us every day since we began out of time as Clear Springs Chargers and supported us when we needed you. Thank you for everything. To our families, parents, friends, we would not be here tonight without your love and support. Thank you for allowing us to become who we are. Hello, I am Maggie Carter, Senior Class Historian. We are proud to be gathered here today in Veterans Memorial Stadium, which is named in honor of all the military service men and women from Clear Creek ISD. At this time, we would like to recognize all seniors in the class of 2015 who have joined the military, as well as any of our alumni, parents, and guests with us here this evening who have been served in the military or will be serving in the military. Please stand now so that we may acknowledge your patriotism and service to our country. We are truly grateful for your service and we thank you for your time, honor, and dedication. Good evening, I'm CJ Hallmark, the Senior Class Vice President. At this time, I would like to take a moment to recognize the Clear Creek Independent School District board, mem board members who are present and on stage with us tonight. Please hold your applause until all special guests have been introduced. As I call your name, please stand. School Board President, Dr. Laura DuPont. School Board Vice President, Ms. Paige Rander. School Board Secretary, Mr. Charles Pond. School Board Trustee, Mr. Ken Bolliker. School Board Trustee, Mr. James Cunningham. School Board Trustee, Ms. Ann Hammond. School Board Trustee, Ms. Wynn Weber. Also joining us tonight are our special guests from the Educational Support Center. Please stand as I call your name. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Greg Smith. Deputy Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Stephen Ebo. Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Education, Mr. Scott Bockert. Assistant Superintendent of Elementary Education, Ms. Holly Hughes and General Counsel for CCISD, Ms. Sheila Haddock. Thank you for taking the time to join us this evening for our celebration. Thank you, CJ. I am Amy Catrola, Secretary for the Class of 2015, and I would like to introduce you to some of the members of the Clear Springs High School Administration team with us on the stage tonight. Please stand as I call your name. Our head principal, Mrs. Gail Love. <laughs> Associate principal, Dr. Joseph Reese. <laughs> Assistant principal for the class of 2015, Ms. Lori Diaz. <laughs> and our lead counselor, Ms. Mary Margaret Rucker. Also tonight, we have some very special guests who have helped to guide many of us throughout our education in the Clear Creek Independent School District. On the stage with us this evening are very special guests, Bowershog Elementary Principal, Ms. Trudy Knight, Victory Lakes Intermediate Principal, Mr. Adam Douglas, Creekside Intermediate Principal, Mr. Peter Caterina, Thank you for celebrating with us today. It means so much to have you here as we begin the journey of life after Clear Springs High School. At this time, I would like to introduce additional members of the leadership team also with us this evening. As I call your name, please stand. Our assistant principals, Ms. Alice Schwartz, Mr. Scott, our student counselors, 
Ms. Angela Alkinson, Ms. Tracy Brooks, Ms. Rhonda Kempton, Ms. Jennifer Thomas, Ms. Deborah Rahm, our student support counselor, Karen Grayson, and our career specialist, Ms. Kathleen Gandon. Thank you all to all the administrators and counselors for the outstanding job you do each day at Clear Springs High School. Thank you, Dr. Rees. Good evening to our Board of Trustees, Superintendent Smith, guests on stage, class of 2015, family and friends, Welcome to the graduation for the class of 2015. This ceremony today is dedicated to you and your families as recognition of your commitment to education and for your accomplishment of completion. I am proud of each of you seated here today. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Diaz for your leadership as senior principal Thank you to Ms. Tracy LaFoy for your leadership as both senior class sponsor and graduation co-facilitator. Thank you to the many teachers who have supported you from grades pre-K through 12th grade on your journey to high school graduation. Students, I urge you to take the time today or in the near future to thank your family and friends who have gone the extra mile in support of you. Today marks a milestone for Clear Springs High School with a total of more than 3,200 graduates since the first class in 2010. The many dedicated faculty and staff present today have been dedicated to your success. Special recognition to the Clear Springs faculty and staff who are present today participating in graduation. Faculty and staff present, please stand to be recognized. All faculty and staff present, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Today, you stand at a milestone in your life. Behind you are the struggles and challenges that you've conquered along the way, including the most recent semester exams and the state assessment STAR test. This is the first graduating class with the requirement of STAR to graduate, and you were all successful. Give yourselves a round of applause. Before you lies a new horizon filled with amazing possibilities. You get a strange feeling when you're about to leave a place, like you not only miss the people you've come to know and love, but you miss the person that you are now, a quitting quote from, of all people, Winnie the Pooh. The class of 2015 has set the bar high, leaving a legacy of both academic, fine arts, CTE, and athletic achievements. 95 students in this class are graduating on the Distinguished High School Plan. 120 honor graduates, the highest in the history of Clear Springs High School, and 10 National Commended Scholars. Students in this class were recently awarded an impressive $15.9 million in scholarship offers. Our campus post-secondary report shows a class of lifelong learners with over 95% of you committed to attending a two or four year university, the highest in the history of Clear Springs High School. Twelve students in this class are committed to the armed forces to serve our country, students representing all five branches. This class footprints of excellence inspire us all, but here are a few examples. Who can forget our Tommy Toon nominations for the production of Music Man or our most recent girls water polo team winning second at state? Our most recent softball team having won district for the first time since the opening, opening of Clear Springs or Ty Williams, who finished second at state as a long jumper. Other firsts include the advancement to state in academic, Brooke Williams having earned an impressive second in ready writing at state, 
and our choir sweepstakes at UIL. I would say that the class of 2015 has also left a generous spirit of service as well. Through Interact and Stephen Lewis's leadership and idea of the Rice Drive, Clear Springs and other CCISD high school campuses help support hunger in third world countries. Our United Way Student Club and Student Council completed more than 12,000 hours of community service. Great work, Chargers. Thank you, parents, for your support in instilling the desire to achieve as evident by the success shown and the students' desire to give back. Students, as you prepare for graduation, let's look as a photographer would seeing life as seen through a camera lens. As you navigate through the future, use all your lenses and change your position often, from close up to wide angle, but zoom out to see the full picture. Look beyond the obvious. Take Sunday selfies, but pay attention along the way. It's about taking in as much of what's out there as you can and not letting the excuses and the demands of some of the obligations you will soon incur narrow your lives and impact your ability for success. Stay connected, students, with family and friends, but don't allow your email, Instagram, and Snapchat to dominate your life. Give yourself time to think. As you journey from home and when faced with situations and decisions and questions, use your instincts and respond with good judgment. Winston Churchill stated, to every person there comes in their lifetime that special moment when you are figuratively tapped on the shoulder and offered a chance to do a very special thing unique to you and your talents. Be ready, Chargers, when the opportunity knocks. I hope your time at Clear Springs has given you an insight to your instincts and talents and that you were provided opportunities to be prepared to reach your highest potential. Consider these 10 keys to success. Believe when others doubt. Learn when others play. Decide when others delay. Begin when others procrastinate. Work when others pretend. Save while others spin. Listen while others talk. Smile while others frown. Stay positive while others criticize. Stay determined while others quit. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve as the principal here at Clear Springs High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff, thank you for getting to the finish line together. Thank you, Charger families, for entrusting us with the education of your students. Chargers, on your journey from here today, keep your dreams in your heart as the light that guides your path. Congratulations, Chargers, on a job well done. Thank you, Mrs. Love. Also joining us for our celebration this evening is a superintendent of schools. Please join the class of 2015 as we welcome Dr. Greg Smith, superintendent of Clear Creek Independent School District. Well, thank you and congratulations, Chargers. It's great to be with you this evening. It's our seventh graduation ceremony this weekend. What a glorious weekend it has been. And as I look out this stadium, I can see that you didn't make this journey alone. So please take time out of your schedule uh, now that it is decompressed a little bit and pay special thanks to your parents and the role models that have gotten you here today. They certainly deserve that. It is because of your collective efforts, both in and out of the classroom, Clear Springs High School is beloved in this community and beyond. It is why our departments, such as our maintenance and operations, transportation, communications, technology, administration, safe schools, and the Galveston County Sheriff's Department all banded together for Clear Springs and the other six high schools to make sure 3,000 graduates walked this weekend, 30,000 parents had an opportunity along with their family and friends to see them, to see them live, along with over 12,500 live video streamers from across the world covering well over a dozen countries had an opportunity to take a peek at some outstanding graduation ceremonies this weekend. 
So please, students and parents alike, please join me in thanking all the support operations, people that made this dream happen from the outside. You can't see much of them here right now, but they have been working on the periphery all weekend long. We even saw one transformation with one, one person over here just uh, on the camera that uh, went from a Longhorn hat to uh, an A&M hat. It's a, it's a wonderful transformation. By the way, these folks uh, will be taking their gifts to Challenger Columbia Stadium uh, beginning next year for all of our graduation ceremonies from here on out. So you're the last graduating class at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Um, congratulations for being the last but you're certainly the first tonight. This weekend, we've, been, we've also celebrated the entire pre-K-12 experience by inviting the principals from the elementary and intermediate schools which you have attended, and they are so very proud of you. Indeed, each and every school and every student has a different story, especially at Clear Springs. For some of you, graduating from high school has never been an option for you, and quite frankly, neither will college. While others have had to work as much in a job as you have had in, a, in the school to help your family. Family is and always has been important. Some of us in the audience grew up in the age of one phone in the house. No, everyone else did not have cell phones. One phone in the house, usually in the kitchen. It wasn't mobile, so whatever you had to say to your friends better be darn right because your parents were peeking in. We also had maybe one to three stations on our TV. And they all didn't work all the time. We got especially excited when the milkman came to the house and removed the old milk bottles out of the milk chute and put in fresh milk bottles, which did not come quick enough in our home because I was one of seven. Yet, some of us used to live in a time when we could ride our bikes to the park and stay there all day and all night until some parent had enough bologna or spam to feed a team for lunch and never worried if the bread was white, wheat, rye, Italian jalapeno, toasted, light, or half calorie. We just ate whatever was there. Our baseball games ended that when we played there when the cover of the ball came off and the yarn whittled away or, so you could no longer see the ball due to darkness, which caused a few black eyes from now and then, every now and then. We didn't get in very many fights during those days, during heated contests. We sure as heck did not have instant replay at that time because we had this highly sophisticated conflict resolution system that people for nowadays would just die for. It's called do-overs. Let's try it again. So when you get upset about something, don't be surprised if your grandparents don't get as upset about it as you. They may be waiting for a do-over. To highlight this point even further, there was a group of young boys who once decided to play a trick on an old lady. They would ask her a question that they thought she would be incapable of answering. With the sometimes arrogance and brashness of our youth, they were convinced that they were far wiser than she. So they called for the interrogator, the student, the one who would pose the impossible questions and ask him to practice. I've got it, he said. I know exactly what to ask her, and I know what to do. I will go up to the old lady and say, old lady, old lady, this bird that I hold behind, is it dead or is it alive? And if she says, why, the bird is alive, then I will crush it. And if the old lady says, why, the bird is dead, I will release, my, I will release it from my hand, and the bird will fly away. Absolutely convinced that she would be stumped by that question, they approached her with the graciousness that is often associated with our elders, especially those who are with us tonight, she consented to respond to the question. Old lady, old lady, said the interrogator, this bird that I hold in my hands, is it dead or is it alive? The old lady with wisdom looked up and said, the bird, why, it's in your hands. Pause, she did, and so did he. Indeed, the task of helping to make our world better is in your hands and mine. It's in the hands of all of us. And graduates, you have what it takes to not only succeed after high school, but lead this country in many profound ways. This is no challenge. Quite frankly, it's a mandate. 
We need you, and I already see it in several of you. You pay it forward. Clear Springs High School has demonstrated absolute class when it comes to getting your hands dirty to help the poor, the ill, and the elderly. Would you agree with this statement that you will remember that feeling of giving a hand up to those in need far more than give, getting an A on a test is much more valuable. You pay it forward like your good friends Stephen Lewis and Tiffany Wynn. Stephen challenged you in your rival high schools to buy rice to feed children in third world countries. And Tiffany got you to make enough peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to feed Houston's homeless. You get in the game. This class, like this stadium, is not made of quitters or of people who sit on the sidelines. You get in the game like your valedictorian, Camille Camarada, who has made a name for herself in the wrestling ring, as well as in the academic circles and in the community. This mighty might and fight in Texas Aggie to be, told me, yeah. She told me about, I don't know, well over four years ago, as she was sitting down, she said, I'm gonna be on that stage where you guys are when I graduate. And sure enough, Welcome to the stage, Camille. You get in the game like Dustin Augustine and Matthew Copra, who are receiving appointments to a military academy. Come this fall, both of them will join the prestigious ranks of West Point and plan to have careers in the military service. Thank you to all who were recognized earlier for keeping America safe. You are risk takers, mostly positive risk takers, but I'm sure your parents may think otherwise from time to time. You are not afraid to take chances like your peer, Katie Brief. When asked by a reporter recently what, what it took for Robonaut's team to take on the World Robotics Competition by storm and walk away with the World Championship, she said, you know what, it's really a lot of trial and error. But life after tonight will be a lot of trial and error, to an error. But it is our hope that you have the tools, the team, and certainly the tenacity to make the best of every minute. And when in, when in doubt, you can always ask for a do-over. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Mary Margaret Rucker, and I have the honor of introducing our two highest ranking graduates for the senior class of 2015. Quinn Chin Lee has earned the title of salutatorian by distinguishing himself in both academics and the arts. He is an excellent student, gifted learner, and a goal-oriented leader. Quinn Chin realized that a rigorous curriculum is essential he is a commended National Merit Scholar, awarded the AP Scholar with Distinction, a four-year Superintendent Scholar, and a member of the National Honor Society and Technical Honor Society, and a Distinguished Achievement Program graduate. Quinn Chen also served in a leadership role as President of the National English Honor Society and as Drum Major at Clear Springs, which is the highest position a student can achieve in band. He received the Texas Music Educators Association All-State Band Honors, the John Phillips Suso Scholar Award, and the Texas Music Scholar Award. Quinn Chen is also a classical trained pianist. Quinn Chen Lee will attend Rice University and pursue a degree in biochemistry with a pre-med track. After graduating from the university, his goal is to attend medical school. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the son of Song Ying Wong and George Lee. Please welcome your salutatorium for the class of 2015, Quinn Chin Lee. Thank you. I've taken a lot of great classes at Clear Springs, but how to speak in front of several thousand people wasn't exactly one of them. You see, people always tell you to imagine your audience in their underwear, but that's horrible advice, because right now, all I want to do is laugh at how ridiculous you guys look. But 
before I begin, everyone take a look at the other end zone back there. You see that band back there? I sat there for three years, and believe me, it's a tough job to sit in the sun and play music. So let's show our appreciation and give them a hand. It's been an interesting four years, but it appears that we have reached the end of our journey together. Our class isn't the first to graduate, nor will it be the last, but that doesn't take anything away from this achievement. I'm speaking tonight not as someone who is above you, but as your equal. Okay, well, I guess I technically am physically above you because of this stage that I'm standing on, but that's about it. All right. One thing in particular stands out to me about our class, and that would be our diversity. Evidence of this can be seen through our exceptional athletics, fine arts, and academic programs. On top of that, our class is altruistic and kind-hearted. Together, over our four years, we have raised over $20,000 for families in need. And that's only one example of your generosity, compassion, and determination. Thank you all for making high school worthwhile and Clear Springs the epitome of camaraderie. We're all fortunate to have been given vast opportunities to be where we are today. Therefore, if we settle for mediocrity, we're wasting our potential in doing society an injustice. Just because we're done with high school doesn't necessarily mean that we're done learning because knowledge is limitless. Explore your passions, develop relationships, and chase your dreams, but never stop using your brain. It's the most powerful tool that we possess. The most resilient parasite is neither a virus nor bacteria, but rather an idea. Christopher Nolan states in his film Inception that once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it is almost impossible to eradicate. With that in mind, we must keep developing new ideas and work towards making them realities in order to benefit our society. It's true, there will be many obstacles in our lives. There will be difficulties and pitfalls, but as Grammy winner Taylor Swift would say, just shake it off. Although it's often an easy path to take, it actually isn't natural to give up. When a vine meets a wall, does it stop growing? No, instead it defies gravity. Strive for greatness and climb the walls that life will invariably place in front of you. However, if I can't convince you to persevere and capture your goals, perhaps Tony Stark can. When he found out he was going to die because, the arc, because a shrapnel was lodged in his chest, did he give up? No. Instead, he adapted and created the arc reactor and became Iron Man. We should all endeavor to become Iron Men and women. OK, it's time to get a little sappy, so feel free to cover your ears. I'd like to thank all of my teachers and friends who have gone on this wild journey called high school with me. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my band director, who not only helped me become a better musician, but also a better person and leader. Lastly, this speech wouldn't be complete if I didn't thank my number one supporters, my parents. They have been there for me through thick and thin, pushing me to maximize my potential while being caring and compassionate. Thank you. This example you set for me is one that I hope to emulate in the future. And because of you, I'm proud of what I see every time I look in a mirror, and I'm not just talking about these good looks. All right, no more emotional stuff. I look into the sea of black gowns, and underneath each cap are the faces of unique, talented individuals. If I've learned anything through my four years at Clear Springs, it's that everyone has something to offer. Tonight, June 7th, marks the end of our first novel and the beginning of another. We will all be going our separate ways now, but keep in mind, this new book has not been written yet. It's up to us to determine whether this next novel will become a bestseller or just another forgotten work that failed to succeed due to apathy and complacency. You know that part of the speech where I'm supposed to give you some call to action or homework for the future? Well, I'm not going to do that because homework stinks. But I will end with and encourage you, class of 2015, not to just make a living in the future, but to live to make something. We are the ingredients for something special in this constantly changing world. And as my good friend James Harden would say, just put these ingredients in a bowl and stir it up. All of us have the potential to impact a countless number of lives. That's why the masterpiece produced from these ingredients will be fantastic. Congratulations, graduates, and best of luck in the future. Thank you. Our next speaker has earned the title of valedictorian for the senior class of 2015. 
Camille Elizabeth Camerata represents her student body as not only the number one in her class, but as a role model. Camille has distinguished herself in both academics and extracurriculum activities. Throughout her high school career, she has shown dedication to succeed academically. She has never shied away from a challenge. She's an AP scholar with distinguished four-year superintendent scholar, member of the National Honor Society, National uh, English Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, and Technical Honor Society, and she received the Moody Honor Scholar Award and the Society of Women Engineers Merit Scholar Award. Also, she's a Distinguished Achievement Program graduate. Camille also served her school in many leadership roles. She was the captain of Clear Springs wrestling team, receiving Houston Touchdown Club Greater Houston High School Female Wrestling Scholar Athlete Award, member of the Superintendent's High School Student Advisory Board, vice president of a senior class, and worked with Safe Schools Ambassadors Mentoring Program. Camille Elizabeth Camerata will attend Texas A&M University and pursue a degree in petroleum engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the daughter of Christina and Joseph Camerata. Please welcome your valedictorian for the class of 2015, Camille Elizabeth Camerata. It's funny. As I was walking up here, I was thinking that we all have a lot in common tonight. None of us know what I'm gonna say. So I'm just gonna say it one more time. Welcome! Look at all these people that came to watch us graduate. Your families are extremely proud of you. You cannot imagine the sense of relief they're experiencing. This would be a most opportune time to ask for money. It is my privilege to be a part of this group of students. This class has so much talent, intelligence, and character. It is truly amazing that such an accomplished student body sits in front of me right now. We have all state athletes, all state musicians, nationally ranked cheerleaders, Tommy Toon award winners, robotics world champions, national merit scholars, and many more outstanding achievements. I have had multiple people tell me that we, as a class, are more motivated and competitive than the classes that preceded us. A fellow classmate said it best, calling the class of 2015 his role models. Well, y'all are my role models too. All of your outstanding accomplishments are results of your hard work and dedication. I know I'm supposed to give you advice, but what do I know that you don't? I don't know any secrets or shortcuts. I'm just chugging along like you. However, because I had to write this commencement speech, I was looking up how to be successful on Wikipedia, I mean, Google Scholar, and I noticed some common factors. Hard work, duh, and a sense of humor. Now I know y'all are seniors, but it isn't time to retire yet. So the only advice I'm going to offer today is to stay hungry. I don't mean the pre-weigh in hunger that us wrestlers know, but the hunger for success. I want each of you to find something that makes you happy, something that, means, that brings meaning and value to your life, and pursue it. Aim high. You are never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream, C.S. Lewis. If you work your tail off and tell yourself that you deserve whatever goal you have in mind, you will accomplish it. You only have one life so make it worthwhile. Be sure to make jokes. Laugh at yourself, laugh at others, in a nice way, of course, and enjoy yourself. You will never have more energy or enthusiasm, hair or brain cells than you have today. I mean, look at your parents. A man that knows a thing or two about humor and success, Stephen Colbert, once said, I would say laughter is the best medicine, but it's more than that. It's an entire regime of antibiotics and steroids. Humor is another key to success. Humor is a stress reliever. It puts you and the people around you at ease. It makes you more approachable. It builds friendships and trust. Why do you think I keep sneaking jokes in this speech? 
It creates a positive atmosphere that can consequently increase productivity. Who knew laughter could be so fruitful? Let us live by our class motto. At the time, we did not know we were having fun memories. We just knew we were having fun. So I say to you, dream big. Enjoy life every day. Set high, unrealistic goals and run towards them with all your heart. Laugh off the bad experiences and laugh throughout the good ones. You never know. You may end up somewhere you never thought possible. Thank you to all of the teachers, administrators, and mentors for inspiring us throughout the years. We will accomplish great things because of your efforts. I would especially like to thank Mrs. Love, Dr. Smith, and my coaches, Tolson and Nelms, for all of your motivation and encouragement throughout my high school career. And obviously, I had to save the best for last. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me in every aspect of my life. I have enough videos of me wrestling to last a lifetime. Finally, congratulations, class of 2015. Now, it's time to grab life by the horns and saw them off. Thank you, Gigum. Good evening. Since its opening in 2007, under the leadership of Principal Gail Love, Clear Springs High School has enjoyed a culture of excellence and a legacy of traditions that will endure for years to come. The Principal's Legacy Award honors one young man and one young woman in the graduating class whom the faculty believes best represents our culture of excellence. Selection is based on leadership, academics, extracurricular involvement, and service to both the school and to the community. The Principal's Legacy Award is the most prestigious award a student can receive at Clear Springs High School. It is reserved exclusively for seniors and is the only award that is allowed to be presented during the ceremony commencement. The recipients will have their names engraved on the Principal's Legacy plaque, which hangs in the Clear Springs High School on permanent display. Please join me in recognizing this year's recipients. Students, please come to the stage when your name is called. The male recipient of the 2015 Principal's Legacy Award is Stephen Lewis. And the female representative is Brittany Hornick. Thank you very much, and congratulations to our two students. Thank you, Ms. Diaz. Dr. Smith, will you join me at the podium? Dr. Smith, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study at Clear Springs High School as prescribed by the state of Texas. In addition, they have satisfied all of the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees of the Clear Creek Independent School District. Ms. Love, I accept your certification and hereby declare these students as graduates of Clear Springs High School and the Clear Creek Independent School District with all the pertinent honors, rights, and privileges. Congratulations, students. Well done. <laughs> 